Okay. No, I haven't cleaned it up. She's going to see that. But I'm in <laughs> deep kimchi. You're not going to be in deep kimchi. Come on. What did you have to do over here? Here's, here's a washer and dryer. And, and nobody knows what house this is. I'm not going to give your last name out. My word. Here's, a, here's where a washer and dryer is. And, and um, this is the only way to get in here. Here's the door. And here's the big refrigerator. Now, you know, I mean, in a perfect world, you wouldn't have the door that close. But it still works. All right? But what could we do? What could we do differently here? There's some stuff behind the door. You know, this rack here and stuff could be relocated over up against this wall and give a little bit more room for the dryer. Or, you know, if you had a door like this, if you had a situation like this, you could take another door and you could flip it around. Take this door out. You'd have to take the whole door out, the tram, everything, and flip it around so that the door opens the opposite direction so it opens over here this way then your handle would be over on the left hand side so you could do you could do something like that too see this is in the corner it's gonna be fine now another thing you could do here is you could put a pocket door in here there's a sheetrock wall over here you could take that sheetrock out you could put a sliding door in there let me show you what you could do with the pocket door. This is kind of cool. How does your pocket door work over here, Jeff? That handle right there. See this? When it's flush in there to pull that out, that's pushed in there like that. You can push that button out, and it pops out. You can lift this up, and then you can pull that. I've never seen that before. 30 years of construction, I've never seen that, Jeff. Sweet. Pretty cool video, Joe. All right. Hey, that's all I'm going to show you around for now. All righty. That's all I have for this time. But I'll be back with more videos.